right. I want to be okay. Boy, where are you? How are you? How are you? Good day, sir. My lovely wife. How are you doing? Son, how are you? I'm all right. You're looking good. Yeah, yeah. She's in love with it. Grandpa is here now. Are no, you no. happy? Come on, let's, let's go in. Let's go in. Sure. We're not going to go and be skit. Welcome, man. Thank you. Hey. Hello, Grandma. Nabifed. Nabifed. Go and get the khaki. The khaki. Khakis. I have the khakis here. Never send a friend request. Hi. You see why I know they even, they even travel go my own village. You see them? Because all these bad men for village, they are funny at times. Hi. You go. God, I beg, make nothing happen to this boy. Yo. I tell God, they beg you, God. I beg. Who is chasing you? It's Akuruka. Akuruka? Yes. Go inside, let me go. Akuruka, what is it? Oh, don't go. Who is the question for Akwara? Oh, give me. What is it? My daughter said you are chasing her. What has she done? Where is she? My daughter is inside. I want to see her. Aboroka, you are my good friend. Same with your father when he was alive. Listen, if you want my daughter, go home and bring your people. And come and officially ask for her hand in marriage. Yes. Mazi, are you trying to deceive me? May deceive you. No. I can't deceive you. Aboroka, I can't deceive you. But what I'm trying to say is, it's good to do the needful. Just come with your people and make your intention known to us officially. Stop looking. You will have her. Buzz. Eh? I heard you, Buzz. You know, Abuka is a humble man. I have respect for elders. I will respect your words. And one more thing, Abroka. Stop chasing her whenever you see her on the road. Girls dislike men who chase them about. Hmm? I've had you, Mazi. Let me go and prepare. It's okay. We'll be waiting for you. I'll be coming back. Let me see you near my house again and see what I will do to you if I don't break your head for you. Got this big fool, baboon. Want to marry my daughter? Let me see you from here. Who be that? 
ta để con Đi Where you go? Where you go? I be, I be you don't branch again. Pontius, if I tell you, say I get your time, I deny. The truth, no, they in me. Where you think say they go? Like Gladys, where you think say they go? You see that my time, eh? You go get that. Gladys, you see this my thing? Where you go give that boy? Hmm. You go put him. You go put him one day. Yeah, yeah, I know you. You go soon get my time. Look at you. Eh? You never go mess away, person never go before for this life. Ordinary man should go break something down the street. She spent the whole day. The whole day. See, eh? You must explain to me where you go. I don't wait for you here. You must explain to me where you go. Ah! Don't bring something down the street. Every day I'm asking God, so why me? Why me? Why? Every day I'm shedding tears, I'm crying. Come on, 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 before, I said Chief Moto Park here, but now they see him again. What did they happen? Uh, Gladys, you see, eh? He never even reached 30 minutes. Where small ogre and a family come back. All of a sudden, I didn't hear the, 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 the look. Eh? All of a sudden, I see her as they carry small picking. Fiam! And Tamil to the go hospital. Ah ah! Ah ah! What's happened to them? Hmm? What's he happened to the small picking when they carry go hospital? I know here what you ask me. What do you talk? I say what's he happened to the picking when they carry come off? What's he happened? No, you don't ask me. You don't see, you don't see doctor, Abby. No, I don't talk to doctor. You don't ask me. Don't choose this serious now. This is not be joking matter. You should be play. What's he happened? Oh, okay, okay. Gladys, just relax, eh? Soon, Oga will come back. Make you ask her. This is not be joking matter. You should be joking. Gladys, nervous. I want to ask you something. Where are you going when they come back? See that question, eh? Go ask your ancestors. Nonsense. I'm going to waste my time. Go ahead. Gladys! Gladys! Me, nonsense! No, no, no. Me, nonsense! You open your mouth to tell me nonsense! Me, nonsense! No, 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 come my name. Me, nonsense! No, come my name. I don't blame you. Because I don't see if I start to blame you now to promote you. I go begin to give you shoulder. I don't blame you. No sense ingredients. No entity. No man clutter. Waga who waga ha? Waga who waga ha? Because I, I, I brought myself down to talk to you. Waga who waga ha? Waga who waga ha? No sense. Imagine. How is it? How is it doing, Doctor? Well, Chief, um, it's going to be fine. Okay. Okay. Doctor, what really happened? Can Can you tell us what exactly is the problem? He has febrile convulsion as a result of high fever. Uh, doctor, 
he wasn't sick. No. As a matter of fact, he just returned from the village with his parents. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Chief, that's children for you. Their illness always comes as a shock. Doctor, doctor, please excuse me. Your attention is needed urgently at Ward 15. It's an emergency case, sir. Please excuse me. I'll be right back. Ifani. Yes. Was your son sick? How? No. No. So he was he was perfectly fine. All that time we spent at the village, he was fine. So, so how, how do we explain this? Now, what did you stop my phone? Eh? I'll be the best in blind. You said it very busy. You know, you're a baby, baby, baby. You want my little sugar cane, baby. Ah, my God. Oh, yeah. Hey, what happened? Hey, madam. Hey, madam. Hey, madam. Hey, madam. Madam. Sorry, ma. I've been the buff. Madam, as I talk to you, I am still inside patrol. Yes, ma. Eh? Which hospital? St. Mary's. Okay, ma. I'm coming. Yes, ma. Hey. Go that big Go that big Go that big Go that big Nothing happened to small old girl. Which can't walk with this one? Hey! Whoa! Okay, six, 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 six. Queen, my daughter, please stop crying, eh? Stop crying. The God who serve does not sleep no slumber. There is nothing too hard for him to do. Let me tell you, in totality, what God cannot do does not exist. So let us pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you say you are God of justice. God of signs and wonders. You say you will fight for us and we will hold our peace. Hey, God, I call you this hour. Go and heal my grandson. God, you are the God that no man can challenge. You say yes. we'll fight not against flesh and blood, yes. but against principalities and powers of higher places. Therefore, O oh God, whatsoever it is that I want to claim the life of my grandson, mm. hey God, Use your Holy Ghost fire Amen. and consume them. Amen. Papa, pursue them, overtake Amen. them, and consume them for our yes, sake. Sir. God, heal this boy for me. There is nothing you cannot do. You will never allow us to be put to shame. Mm. Papa Biko. He will do it. He is okay. In fact, God cannot shame us. You know what? Uh -huh. Thank you. Bye bye. You see, Keo. Oh, I pray nothing will happen to my nephew. Nothing will happen to him. It's well. Eh? It's well, Lord, the one man. God. God, please. Make nothing happen to that innocent small boy. He's just a boy. Please, Father. Anything will go happen to that boy, to that poor boy. Make it happen to Gladys. Oh yes. Wait, wait, wait. Now what's that here now? Eh? Matumba go fire you. It make no guesses. 
How much can I pay you that one? Now you that thing will happen too. Gladys, wait, wait, wait. Why would they like this? Why are you this stingy and heartless? Eh? So you won't tell me say you know go fit die for that innocent boy. Upon see the parents like you. You heard no comments. Why you not die for them? Eh? The parents don't like you. Uh, eh? Who, who am I to die for that innocent boy? I don't die for a person already. Oh yes. Now who you die for? Now you I die for. See, eh? You don't forget that day where I tell you, say I did die for you. Due to my heavenly God, I let her die. No be joke. Conscious. No vex. And my fault. Let me just decide to waste my time with you. I forget say your head no comment. I bet come lock your gate, I won't come out. Uh, I bet come, but no, no waste time for that hospital, no. No waste time, no. I beg God, I beg you. I tell God, they beg you, God. Let nothing happen to that innocent boy. The only God will there for heaven. Go fit bless you, God. I'm you. Hold up, get Hold up, get to. I, 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 Nothing happened to this little child. A child that just left this house this morning. Eh? Much is so. My. I don't understand this. Hmm. Much is so, let me ask you. Before they left here this morning, was that boy sick? My here now, Judy. Were you not saying when they left this morning? Nothing is wrong with the boy. He was strong and healthy. He became sick when they got home. No, I don't know. I don't know. Hi. Oh, God. <laughs> Let nothing happen to this boy. Six years of childlessness. If anything happens to that boy, we will kill ourselves. Stop saying that nothing will happen to him. <laughs> There's no untimely death in my lineage. Hmm. Uh, no, I heard that Oruka came here this morning. Oh, I need to hear them in Akka, Akka, but who is that broker? Forget that young man. I don't want to hear anything about him. the matter? It's a personal issue, Dad. Personal issue? Yes. Why don't you confine in your dad? I'm your father and your closest confidant. Your marriage certificate. Is anything wrong with that? Dad. This shows that I have been married for six years with nothing to show for it. No child. Six years without a child. Is that why you're worried?
Do you know how long it took your mother and I to have you? May God rest her soul. Ten years. Ten good years to have you. Then, I am not you. And my wife is not my late mother. I don't have to wait ten years to have a child. Well, patience. Patience is all that is required at this moment. God knows about your married life. And he will give you a child when the time is due. All you need to do is to exercise patience. Wait on God. When will the time be? Dad, when? I mean, I'm not Abraham and my wife is not Sarah in the Bible. <laughs> that is not funny. Uh, you've just spoken like a child. Uh, well, son, um, I will advise you wait. Hmm? Patience, that is all that is required now. God shall visit you. Maybe today, it could be tomorrow or next. All you need to do is wait on God. Your time shall come. Hmm? <laughs> Just spoken like a child. <laughs> Every day I'm asking God, so why me, why me, why? Every day I'm shedding tears. My baby, my baby, my baby, my baby. What's wrong? Someone took my baby. Your baby, but we don't have a baby yet. Well, it was a bad dream. I just saw it in my dream. Who took my baby? It's okay. It was only a dream. It's okay. Wait. So someone took my baby. This this means something. What? No, no, no. This signifies something. I I think. I think someone is responsible for my childlessness. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Otherwise, why would someone take my baby, baby in my dream? Baby, listen, honey, don't nurse such thoughts. Okay, it's dangerous to do that. Look, when the time is right, God is going to give us a child. All right? Let's go back to sleep. Okay? Sure. Let's go back to sleep. Do you feel so real? It's okay. It's a dream. It's not real. It's okay. I want a baby. God is going to give us a child. All right. Okay. Hey. It's okay. It's okay. It's a dream. Baby. Yeah? I want us to visit the hospital. What? I'd like for us to go see the doctor. Why? You know, so we can run some tests. Find out our medical status. Hmm? Um, my father doesn't like that. I mean, he actually warned me not to go to the hospital. <laughs> Wait a minute, your what? Did you say your father? Hello? You are married? Yeah. To me? 
Yeah, he doesn't like that. He actually warned me not to go to the hospital. Are you kidding me? No. What what has your your daddy got to do with this conversation? I'm, not, I'm listening because from where I stand, you are married, huh? To me, and from what I see too, you are an adult. Right. Yeah, yeah. That means you can take decisions for yourself. Why is your daddy in this conversation? Is it because he lives with us? Babe, listen, I know I have my own decisions to make. But at this point, I would rather... I go with his own idea. Which is? You know what, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. No, 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 I want to hear it now. Tell I'll me tell now. you later when I come back. You're serious? You look like you. You're really going. Don't make any sense. Why does he have to? Why does he have to consult his daddy over the littlest things? Am I missing something? Who waits for him to come back? My wife is right after all. We are supposed to see a doctor, at least to know our medical status. But my dad... Okay. Talk to you, please. I'm all yours. Thank you. I want you to help me convince my husband so that he will follow me to the hospital. Six years of childlessness is no joke. We don't even know our medical status. We don't know whose fault this is. I believe that when you talk to him, he'll yield. Oh, well, um, both of you are okay. There is nothing wrong with you guys. You don't know that. You are not a medical doctor, I'm sorry, but I want a doctor to tell us what it is. I, I want us to attack the situation from verified source and medical analysis. Please. Listen to me, young lady. I am not your mate. Right? I'm an old man. 
I can't be lying to you. Not at this age. I've told you that there's nothing wrong with both of you. You are okay. Why are you pushing me? Listen, listen, listen. See, I wouldn't want two people to be frequent in the hospital. I know who I am. Chief Williams, I have an image and name to protect. I have a reputation to protect. I'm sorry, but what is wrong with what I just said now? I don't get it. Leave my sight. I said leave. You're fine. You have to look for a solution to your problems. You have been going through these problems for six years now. My brother, how long do you intend to go through these problems? So what am I supposed to do? Go against my father's will? Tunde, I can't do that. I'm just totally confused right now. If I, you have to do something, forget about your father. That old man is living his life and you have your own life to live. Why don't you take your wife, the brother of you to go around, look for a medical expert, someone that can look into your problems, okay? I think that's better because you keep complaining and nobody will listen to you. You're right. The truth is my wife has talked about us seeing an expert, but my father keeps kicking against it. Yes. Really? Uh, if I have to forget about that old man, don't listen to him, okay? Listen, my brother, take your wife, go out there, look for solution to it, find a solution to your problems, okay? Else, if you continue like this, my brother, you will just lose it. Listen, brother, the earlier you realize you're the head of the family, the better for you. A stitching time seems nice. Well, I'm done with the proposal you asked me to type. When you need it, you give me a call. So I'll send it to your office. That's okay. All right. I'll see you at lunch. Please, my love. I need you to calm down. I promise you, we're going to sort things out. Please. I will not calm down. Why in the world should I calm down? When I have no friggin' idea what plans you and your daddy have up your sleeves? I mean, it looks to me as if it is your plan that I hit menopause. Hmm? So that you can then go and get yourself another wife. Is that it? be crazy. If you don't want me here anymore, just politely ask me to leave and I will leave. Because there is nothing as annoying as living in a house with a group of persons that don't like you. Queen, I love you so much and I can't afford to let you go. Alright? All I'm asking for is time. Just more time. Just be patient. A little more patience, please. <laughs> Sometimes you... You sound like a baby. 
a suckling baby for that matter. You should hear yourself talk sometimes. For what it's what. I am not asking you to disobey your daddy. Because obviously you are a daddy's boy. But do not disobey or obey your daddy and my own detriment. Because I won't take it. Queen, I think you're taking I'm going to give you 48 hours to make up your mind and follow me to the hospital. You're taking things. Otherwise, it's over between us. I'm taking what? I'm not taking anything anyhow. 48 hours and I'm not kidding. I see. You're taking things too far, honestly. I'm not going to lie. You are. Just, just be patient, it. Don't worry, I'll come in first. Don't bother yourself. Uh, trust me, I said I will handle it. <laughs> Dad, we need to talk. Hello, Chief Madam. Please, I'll get back to you later. Please. Thank you. Son, what is it? Dad, you're trying to crash my marriage. You're trying to break my home. I beg your pardon? Why are you stopping us from seeing the doctor? We've discussed this over and over. And I've explained to you my reasons. So why are you coming up with this again? Dad. My wife is threatening to leave the marriage if we don't go to the hospital. Is that what you want? She can't leave. She's just pulling your legs. Son, this is the time for you to stand on your word and show the stuff you are made of. Show the true definition of who you are. She can't leave. Hmm? Don't worry, I'll talk to her. She's not going anywhere. Dad. Dad, I can see you won't stop being stubborn. Your aim is to crash my marriage. But you must know that this is my life. My marriage, my home, my health. Son, I want you to understand that there is a time and season for everything under the sun. A time to be born, a time to die, and so on and so forth. When it is your time, nobody will whisper it to you. Dad, I can see you're out to crash my marriage. But that's fine, I know what to do. Every day I'm asking God, so why me, why me, why me? Every day I'm shedding tears, I'm crying, crying from one problem to the other. Hello, if I am, I'm going to kill you. What happened? Just, just calm down. Bro, calm down now. Eh, I bro, me. Um, let me rush to the mechanic and pick up my car. I'll be with you in the Jiffy. Eh? If he... Bow, just calm down. I'm coming. Eh? Mumbo, eh? Now I'm coming. Just, I'll, I'll come. I'll come. I'll meet you. My love, please open the door. I beg you. Listen, I understand how you feel, but I want you to also know that we're in this together. I've spoken to my father. You need to hear what he said. Oh. 
Open the door. What did your daddy say? I... I asked, what did your daddy say? Okay, you're silent. You, you want to be silent. You have no response. What did your daddy say? I'm listening. You tell me what he said. I opened the door. Babe, listen, you're hurting me. You need to stop. I'm sure we can sort this out, okay? We can sort things out, but first you need to open the door, please. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Your daddy said nothing and you're here loving me. It's fine. Stay there. Open the door. Stay there and keep loving me till you decide to tell me what it is your daddy said in response to my request. Until then, I am never going to open this door. Never! Please open the door, please. You may have to break that door. Break the door. Break the door, damn it, because I will not open it. Good afternoon, Chief. Good afternoon. Today, how are you? Chief, I'm fine. Thank you. Your wife and your children? They are better than me. They are very fine. That's great. That's um, great. Chief, you're looking younger every day. <laughs> Thank you for coming. You're welcome, ma'am. He finds sin for me. He wants to see me. Yeah. He finds you inside. Okay. I'll meet him right now. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, you can continue enjoying your music. You. All right, sir. So, uh, thank you very much, Chief. Enjoy your music. <laughs> What's going on? And why are you standing outside? To me, my wife locked me out here. She did what? Yeah. What did you do to her? <laughs> Same issue we talked about. I have told her time and time again to be patient. We're going to sort things out, but it's quite unfortunate she decided to lock me out here. Oh, man, this is serious. Queen? Queen? It's me, Tunde. I'm here. Queen, please open the door. Listen, I understand how you feel. I understand. Just open the door. Let's sort to this. Okay, once and for all. Queen, open the door. If I... You just have to listen to your wife. Okay. I have decided to do whatever she wants me to do, but she has to open the door so we can sort things out as a couple. <sighs> Above me, you just have to understand. I'm a woman, the way they are. Let me try it in house. Queen! It's me, Tunde. I'm still here. I am here! Please open. Let's sort out this one song for her. Please open. I've been standing here for hours knocking. Begging, no, pleading, just keep begging, pleading. 
Who will open the door, please? We are still here. We need to sort this out once and for all. Okay? Come in. Good day, manager. Hi, Tunde. What's up? I'm fine. Um, we need you to go through this uh, document. Fine. So as to know if, we'll, if there will be an amendment to know if we we'll proceed with the project. Okay. I'll be in my office when you're through, you let me know. Excuse me. Uh, two days. I... I was going to say thank you for yesterday. Okay. I mean, um... You're welcome. It was going to be difficult to convince my wife, but with your help, it worked. I'm happy I was there at least. It worked. But the truth is you need to still visit the hospital. At least to prove to your wife that you are not the cause of your childless situation. I think that will be fine. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah. I'll be in my office. Great. I'll, I'll give you a call once I'm done with the. Alright, thank you. Thank you. All right. Every day I'm asking God, so why me? Why me? Why? Every day I'm shedding tears. I'm crying, crying. From one problem to the other, no happiness for my family. Today we happy, tomorrow we cry. Hey, I can't take it anymore. Hey! Honey! I need to know if you've made lunch. Babe! 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 Where's my wife? That was rude of you, son. When did I become your wife's keeper? Eh? Yeah. Anyway, she may be busy in the kitchen. That she's not in the kitchen. I've searched the whole house and she's not here. Then where is she? We couldn't have left this compound without my notice. Are you sure she's not hiding somewhere within the compound? Dad, I just said I searched the whole house and she's not here. <laughs> that, that is your problem, young man. So deal with it. Dad, did you say that to me? Of course I said that to you. Go look for your wife. 
Every day I'm asking God So why me, why me, why Every day I'm shedding tears I'm crying, crying From one problem to the other No happiness for my family Today we happy, tomorrow we cry Hey, I can't take it anymore I, I What do you mean that my daughter is not at home? Mama, as we speak, she's nowhere to be found. Have you tried calling her on phone? I called her severally. Her phone is switched off. I can't reach her. Wait. Was there any kind of misunderstanding before she left home? Yes, but Mama, I wouldn't really call that a misunderstanding because... We just had a little quarrel, just a slight quarrel about our inability to have a child. She talked about going to the hospital to see a doctor, but my father kicked against it. Why? Why would he kick against it? Was that not the right decision she took? That's the problem. Mama, it's actually a story for another day. It's just, my father can be... He just, I don't know, he's been acting crazy. Doesn't want us to go to the hospital and the... excuse me, sorry. Hello. Queen, what are you doing here? I've been looking everywhere for you. We have to go home. Why are you looking for me? Really? You're my wife. Queen, I married you. If anything happens to you, I'll be held responsible. Do you understand? We need to go right now. Tunde. Hey, fine. Please talk to this woman. hotel in the first place. You're a married woman. You shouldn't be seen in premises like this. We need to go. I'll follow you if you agree to do the needful. And what is it you want? That you follow me. Follow me to the hospital right now. There, we will subject ourselves to the much-needed tests. Is that it? Mm-hmm. Done. <laughs> I love the sound of this. Wonderful. Then, um, case closed. Um, listen, guys. I need to probably back home to my wife and kids. They are home alone. They need to leave. Today, thanks a lot. I, I really do appreciate. Okay, and re I'm really sorry for all the uh, inconvenience. No, come on, buddy. <laughs> There's no inconveniences. It's my duty as a friend to do that. All right, I need to hurry back home. I'm Queen. Please, do <laughs> take care of my friend for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to see the doctor. Let's go to the hospital. You both have to excuse him for now. He needs rest. He has undergone a lot of mental stress that led to his breakdown. 
you to tell us what is exactly the problem. Because I don't understand it. I, I really don't understand. First it was my son. Now it's my husband. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I really don't understand. Well, like I said earlier, madam, he needs rest. You have to excuse him, please. So follow me. <laughs> 